1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 in series and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 in parallel. These are 2000 mAh batteries. So, each of these in parallel will add up to 16 AH and 24 volt system. I have a BMS which is 25.9 volt at the minimum to 29.4 volts at maximum. So th this battery pack, so the current flows like this and then this way, this way, 3.7. It will be around uh, 24 volts, it's actually more than 24 volts, like 26 or 27 nominal voltage, 29.4 volts at the maximum. Each of these cells are 2000 mAh capacity. So 2000 into like 2000 you could say it as a 2H, 2H into 11 is a 22H capacity in this battery pack, which is really huge. This is the first cell, this is negative of the first cell, this is positive. The positive of the first cell is connected to negative of the second cell. First cell, second cell, third cell, fourth, fifth. 6 under 7. The positive of the first cell is connected to negative of the second cell. You should not use a soldering method to join these batteries. It will damage the batteries internally. It could only lead to fires. So like I have seen these kinds of things on YouTube like this. Just soldering the batteries, you will damage the batteries and it could lead to fire. Just don't do this. You should do spot welding. Uh, the spot welder that I have used in this video, I made it myself. It, uh, it didn't cost me more than $10. I made it from a used microwave transformer. It costs less than $10 to make. I have made a video on it, how to make a spot welder from a used microwave transformer for less than $10. Do check it out on my channel. Now you need to connect uh, small extensions to the batteries to attach the wires from BMS, actually solder the wire from BMS. In order not to damage the batteries, you need to connect small extensions like this negative of the first cell to the positive of the first cell and then positive of the second cell, positive of the third cell, positive of the fourth cell, positive of the fifth cell, positive of the sixth cell, positive of the seventh cell. So in total you, you will have to connect eight connectors, extensions, one, two, three, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 This BMS is the black wire You should solder the black wire to the negative of the whole battery pack Then the second wire goes to the positive of the first cell The BMS has B- and B- terminals 
the p minus is the power minus and the b minus is the battery minus the minus of the battery the negative of the battery should be connected to the b minus of the bms positive of the battery goes to positive terminal of the power supply that's the 24 volt power supply the negative of the power supply comes to the p minus of the bms let me show you by wiring these connections this is called captain tape this can tolerate higher temperatures than the normal tape so you should use this to avoid any short circuits that could happen in the battery pack i will cover this battery cover this part using this right now as you can see i have connected negative of the battery to the b minus and the p minus have been to the black wire which will be connected to the power supply positive of the battery has a red wire 27.4 or 27.5 volts it will be like 3.9 volt for each battery this is a 24 volt battery system it's not 30 volt or something like that if you make a 6 as a configuration it will be less than 24 volt like 18 to 22 volt it will not be useful for a replacement as a 24 volt battery i have also bought this heat shrink uh, sleeve for covering up the battery like, to conceal all the uh, wiring and to make it look neat 